Hey guys, welcome back, Carter. Bits me tripping in the BBT studio today. We're gonna take you guys through a little whiteboard session real quick. Again, this is the mobile camera set up because we are still working on getting the camera and the wiring all set up here. We got this thing set up here and the table's in place, but there's still quite a bit left over. So we wanna make sure that this place is fully set up before we really do like a live stream or something like that. But I wanted to still have some content with you guys today. I had shared out on Twitter a real quick overview. A lot of people have been asking what were like the, you know, it's been almost a year from the decision of EIP 1559 where the Ethereum developers had moved to a plan to burn the base fee when it comes to Ethereum. And that's had an effect. That's had a, a, a yield effect on the miners because there's still quite a bit of fees being generated on the Ethereum network. And we'll go through some of that in detail there uh, in another video where, where those fees are at on the ERC-20 on the protocol level or when you're doing swap, smart contract work, and then how some of that's calculated. But I wanted to jump into what if we took an example of a typical mining rig. I'm talking something like if you were to build a 6700 XT or a 6600 XT rig, um, you know, what are, are even like a 3060 Ti rig or an A2000, whatever, something newer. And what's the profitability? What's the impact that 1559 actually had given the difficulties came up quite a bit. Um, we're at almost a petahash of Ethereum. So it's setting out a thousand terahash or 1100 terahash. If you look at the day, it swings every once in a while. Um, what's a year forward? What are we actually losing out in? Now let's jump on this machine real quick. Now let's jump on the whiteboard and look at what we're talking about here. So if we look at a eight card 6700 rig as an, an example, XT, that's about 372 mega hash a unit uh, for, the, for that whole unit right there. Now the figures that we're looking at here were from 372 at current rate, about nine, 925 watts of power, you're looking right around that ninety to ninety dollars to ninety nine dollars a week in profit right now. Let's just call it roughly ninety five dollars. Let's split the difference here of USD uh, that that kind of machine would make. And you know, depending on your power cost, you know, if you're at eight cents per kilowatt, uh, is that? Let's just do it to twelve. Twelve is kind of a happy medium. So you're going to look at you know, having a, a weekly power cost of about 20 bucks. So your, your $20 of that is going to power, right? So then you would make, and you would end up making the difference there uh, minus those two things, right? You do that 75 bucks a week. Now that is based on a yield that we're talking about right here of, you know, 0.345, 0. 0345 Ethereum. So you're getting that much of Ethereum every week right now on a rig like that. Now that is based on an average here that we'll bring up a quick sheet on for you, which is uh, roughly about 2.2 ETH is what, what the ETH blocks are right now. So you're getting about 2.2 ETH per block every 15 seconds right now and then based on your pool win in blocks and stuff this is then separated uh out to all the different pool people you know that are on the pool and then let's say this one's you that is what your yield would be with this much mega hash per week now if we take all of these calculations and we look at what would this be from the eip 1559 or if there was no eip 1559 what what would we get here? So what we would get, and when I did this analysis earlier, it was 3.51 on, uh, that's the average ETH block size over the last, you know, 25 minutes. Uh, we, you know, where you take this minus this is the burn, you know, the, the burn fees. Oh, we, we should probably do a proper burn here. Here, here and we color this in. This is the burn. This is a burn fee, right? So it's the difference here, right? So 
that's uh, we'll, we'll end up let's just do the quick math we're at like in this particular instance it's at 1.3 eth right there which is what about 4300 bucks every block right now is being burned so then these are not going to us so then effectively what's this come out to this rig if we do do the same math here so on the post thing here let's switch this back so now we are only if if, if we were able to get this amount now because eip 1559 we would move, this would move to about 160 dollars is what we'd be earning at the same power rate remember the power is the same so it'd be 140 you know, so there, there's your difference. So 25 and then we're looking at $65 here. So it'd be 25 to 100 plus 40, $65 minus here, which is about 53% that we're, we're out because of EIP 1559. And then, the, you know, the whole premise here, uh, like we, uh, the reason for me doing this is that you know, it's been a year, uh, part of the entire pitch of this fee burn was to not alleviate fees, right? That wasn't that. It was to create more value for the holder. And we're at $3,300, $3,400. We're less than when we were talking about it dropping. And ETH did not, it barely pumped uh, past the news of, of, you know, doing this activity. So... Every time Ethereum has done this, it, it's been the, the same story. So b bottom line, the burn is the burn, but you know, did, did it have the sell pressure before EIP 1559 was there? It was $4,700, $4,900 ETH price. Um, it had nothing to do with it. Uh, and, and in reality, even with the burn, it's still lower. So it's just the reality folks. It, I mean, like people can talk speculation. I'm talking real numbers. This is real numbers. This is the reality of what's going on. So regardless of what people's opinion are, this is the situation. So until the next video, my dudes, peace. Decentralization is one of the most important factors in a global cryptocurrency network. Bitcoin's proof of work functions due to the exceptional security provided by the miners of the network. Today's sponsor is Compass Mining, a company with a customer-focused experience providing a tailored approach to purchasing, hosting, or even an at-home option, allowing anyone the opportunity to participate. If this interests you, head over to compassmining.io.